hello YouTube and okay guys welcome back to my channel alrighty so like I said I just finished filming the first trimester wrap-up video and now I'm filming this video which is gonna be it's gonna cover what happened more or less between week 14 like you know the start of the second trimester and up to now um, I am on week 21 now uh, but I'm gonna talk about up to week 20 which was like last week uh, but you know, and then I'm gonna start making weekly updates, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna see how it goes because sometimes I feel like not many things are gonna change really between one week and the other but you know, sometimes I might have some updates or something, so we'll see. Okay, so let's get started. I have my cheat sheet here again, of course. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Um, Alright, around week 15 I started feeling the first flutters on my tummy, you know, like the first, that's what you feel like before you feel the actual kicks and like movement from the baby, you start feeling like flutters and it feels, it's really hard to explain. Uh, I mean, if you've been pregnant before, you know how it feels, but if you've never been, it's kind of hard, hard to, to really explain that to you. Like I, I would ask a friend of mine, like, how does it feel? Like, what does it feel like? And you know, it, she was like, it's hard to explain and all that but yeah yeah that was super super exciting I started feeling you know that's it's like kind of like butterflies or like you know when you have like a, a muscle like spam on your eye on your eyelid and you know it's like very very light and soft and like that's that's how it would feel um that's all I felt for like I'm gonna say I started like around week maybe week 14 I'm not sure because this is, this is my really like long-term pregnancy I mean, it's almost like for my body's my my first pregnancy even though it's not the first one but for my body uh, that's what it feel like so you know they say when you are like a second time mom or third time mom you feel it even sooner so so yeah so I started feeling the flutters around week 15 then um, then I'm gonna go I'm gonna go I'm gonna get more into detail like for the, the last few weeks um, then headaches. Another symptom I had uh, were headaches, but I, ha I didn't have them. I gotta say, in knocking on wood, I was pretty lucky. Um, I did, I did have one night uh, not too long ago, and that was like week 19, I think. Um, I should be able to take Tylenol. They say it's safe, but I don't know. It's like the first few headaches I had, I did take Tylenol, but. Now I'm trying to keep it, you know, natural and try to avoid, you know, any kind of medicine if I can, just in case. I mean, I like I said, it's supposed to be safe. My doctor said, said Tylenol is fine, but I just wanted to, I don't know, just to stay away from medication. Uh, so that night, like I said, it was a couple of weeks ago or so, it was pretty bad. I, I couldn't sleep. It was pretty bad. And then... I woke up, I mean, I would will, I will wake up like every two hours, uh, you know, when, when something is bothering you and you cannot sleep really well, well, that's what was going on. And I felt, you know, kind of like my nose was like wet, like here. And I thought, because another symptom that I forgot actually to include is that, and it's getting better now, I don't really have it right now anymore, but for a few weeks it was pretty bad and it was like my nose would be stuffed all the time. I couldn't taste things like I would eat you know when your nose is stuff at least I have a hard time like tasting the food that I'm eating so yeah so that's what I thought it was happening that night and I was like you know like my, you know I'm gonna go and blow my nose like I said to the bathroom and guess what guys actually I was having a nosebleed and that's another one that takes me to another one of my symptoms from this second trimester and thanks goodness, and again, knocking on wood, this only happened like, I'm gonna say, three, four times. I think I think it happened once, once on the first trimester. I remember it happening, but you know, it was like super quick. I mean, you know, it was stopped quickly and it wasn't like a lot of blood or anything like that. Uh, but that night when I had the headache, I also had the nosebleed and it's just, I mean, like I said, it doesn't hurt, I mean, but I'm glad that so far, like I said, till that time, it haven't happened again. Um, but you know, it's supposed to be, again, a normal symptom uh, around this time of pregnancy. Because again, you know, you have more blood flowing everywhere and all that. And uh, so yeah, so that was another, so that, that was a symptom that I was kind of concerned because I said, oh, 
I don't want to be, you know, like be out, like in the on gro doing grocery shopping or something. And it's just not cool, you know. Like if your nose starts bleeding, like in, in public, especially, you know, and you have to put a cotton ball <laughs> on your nose, like I don't know. So, uh, like I said, thanks goodness, thanks God, that was the last time that, that I had it, but. It might happen again, a friend of mine had nosebleeds almost daily uh, from like the whole second trimester and the whole third trimester till right before the baby was, was born. She told me that every morning when she was taking a shower, especially like after the shower, she would get a nosebleed. So yeah, um, like I said, you know, it doesn't hurt or anything, but it's just, I don't like seeing my own blood, you know, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm sure there's a few people like me, but I just don't like to see my blood and yeah, so anyways. So that was another symptom. Then uh, I had a little bit of heartburn, but not much. I mean, I haven't, I could probably count the times with my fingers that I had heartburn in my life. I, I don't, I don't tend to get heartburn. Like I love spicy food and I eat spicy food pretty often. And I, um, I hardly, hardly, hardly ever have gotten heart heartburn so far I mean because I know it can get a little bit worse you know as weeks go by because I think it has something to do with you know the baby keeps growing and they kind of press you know your I don't know like ugh, there's I don't know really how to explain but I think it's that or I think it has to do with the uh, hormones again that they kind of relax your body and your tendons and uh, everything there whatever and so you know it's easier to have acid, acid reflux but yeah I haven't had it um, too many times really so you know thanks goodness so far like I said no kind of wood <laughs> it haven't been too bad then weight gain uh, yeah every time I go to the doctor of course I check my weight and every time I go I'm heavier <laughs> <laughs> that's how it is guys yeah especially this last visit when I had the, um, the anatomy scan I had gained I think like five pounds like it was well like okay it was like five weeks almost because actually I usually have an appointment every month like you know every four weeks but this this appointment they kind of because of Thanksgiving and all that they it was kind of a little bit you know longer so uh so yeah so i am like 120 120 pounds right now i'm very short i mean i'm like five one or maybe less than that maybe five five foot i'm very very short so you know i gotta i don't want to gain i mean i know it's it's normal you know in pregnancy and believe me guys like it's not that i deprive myself of things i mean i'm eating i'm trying to eat healthy what i'm trying to do is eat healthy during the week like have a balanced diet you know a little little bit of everything like um, I'm not doing the paleo diet anymore um, just so you know <laughs> I'm not doing the paleo diet because I don't think it's the best diet for pregnancy you know because I mean I need like a lot of nutrients for the baby and for me you know what I mean so if I do the paleo diet the paleo diet doesn't doesn't let me have any any um, dairy you know like um, any any bread at all or anything like any bread and I don't know I just think it's a little bit too kind of deprives you of many things you know that I don't think it's the time right now to deprive myself from from things but of course I kind of go like crazy and you know have like all the chocolate all the candy and all the ice cream that I want I gotta control myself so what I'm doing is like I said eating healthy trying to eat as healthy as possible during the week sometimes I have a one or two little treats here in the week and then over the weekend yeah at the weekend is when I enjoy myself so if I you know if I be craving something or whatever that's when I have it uh, I tend I try to not have soda during the week maybe one can or two at the most but I'm trying to drink more water that night when I had the very bad headache I realized that I wasn't drinking enough water and it's super super important I mean water is good for you anytime like on your, in your life but especially when you're pregnant I think it's super super important and I noticed once I started drinking more water my headaches started to like go away and yeah again you know like I said if you're trying to look for natural things to kind of fight headaches during pregnancy drinking water drinking plenty of water 
I think it, it would be a good way to um, I'm not gonna say they're gonna go away because they might or might not but I think it's a good you know good thing to do and it's good for your overall health and for the baby so yeah why not um, so weekend yeah like I said and then during the weekend I you know I indulge I mean I'm not gonna lie guys like um, and again I know you know once I have the baby and I start breastfeeding uh, I'm gonna burn that burns a lot of, that makes you burn a lot of calories and I'm gonna lose you know most of the weight I'm gonna lose it quickly and then I'm gonna have like probably quite a few pounds to you know to lose and that's gonna take a little bit longer but um, but you know I'm just I don't know what's the better time but I, I also again some friends are like oh you can eat whatever you want you know enjoy it like yeah but I don't want to go too crazy and also you know if you gain too much weight you know I don't want to take a risk and like maybe get like um, diabetes during pregnancy which can happen I haven't had of course my uh, diabetes my glucose test yet but that's gonna be probably around week 28 I think yeah week, around week 28 so there's there I still have a while to go till till that but you know I'm just trying to like I said keep it healthier during the week and then over the weekend I enjoy myself more because yeah I mean I we can enjoy ourselves right sorry guys my camera shut down yeah like I said another cute and um, sweet symptom that I've been having this one is a good one is strong movements I've been and a couple kicks too a few kicks too uh, that's so so sweet guys uh, so yeah like I said you know at the beginning of the second trimester they were just flutters you know like butterflies in my tummy but now you know that the baby's getting bigger I'm starting to feel you know real movement like it's 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 so hard to explain and it's kind of like it feels kind of weird in a way because it feels like <laughs> you have something moving in your stomach you're like what the hell was that like you know what I mean but at the same time it's amazing because it's like that makes you realize and reminds you that you have a little person inside of you it's it's surreal it's very surreal uh, you know if you like I said if you have felt that before you know what I'm talking about and if you haven't you're gonna love it and it's probably one of the things that I'm gonna miss the most you know once the baby's out of my belly that's one thing I'm gonna miss like just feel him move it's ah so so sweet by the way I'm gonna leave the link for my gender reveal video also in the description box so yeah I'm hope I don't forget that but so if you haven't checked it check it out check it out <laughs> and then what else and then again yeah like I said my boobies keep getting bigger you know they keep getting bigger they keep getting ready for uh, when I have to breastfeed and all that again TMI sorry <laughs> but yeah that's uh, I think that's basically it guys uh, those are my symptoms so far that I can you know remember I made of course I had to write it down because I was gonna forget a few things um, but yeah that's that's about it like I said I'm gonna try to make weekly updates from now on um, again you know sometimes there might be changes sometimes there might not be really many changes but I'm gonna try to keep them short and sweet uh, but yeah but I wanted to get these two videos like the first trimester and the weeks 14 20 wrap up because uh, out of the way because again I've been meaning to film these videos for a long time now but I didn't want to do it you know before like going to the anatomy scan and before letting you guys know you know that I was pregnant and all that I just said that I just I better wait you know a little bit longer and then I start filming those videos so alright guys so this is it for this video and I think it's a little bit too long I'm sorry about that you know I love to talk and if you have any questions please leave me a comment down below and I will be more than glad to get back to you okay and like I said, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if you find it helpful. And yeah guys, so I will see you guys on my next video. So next week, like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my updates like a week delay. So I am on week 21 right now, but I'm gonna talk about my uh, week 21 update on Monday and then Tuesday I turn 22 weeks so you know what I mean it's like a little bit delayed but so I can tell you you know what symptoms I have in I had in that week 
All right, so thank you so much guys for watching and I love you guys and I will see you soon. Bye.